Now today, on Project Nightmare, I'm going to go ahead and replace the carpet and get that out of the way. Because if anything, if I leave the outside of this alone, well, at least want the inside comfortable. And that's something, well, that's just me. Like the rat rods, yeah, kind of beat up on the outside, but on the inside, I still want to be comfortable when I'm driving around. Maybe not modern comfortable, but I like a nice carpet, a nice seat, gauges I can see, and a good radio. So, with this old nasty carpet that I'll show you in a second, I want to get that out of there. And I want to put new carpet in it just to make it feel a little bit better on the inside. So, let's get to it. Now, there's all this stuff laying around here. You can see it's kind of that old brownish color and it's been stained and tarnished and everything else here you can kind of see it almost looks a little orange over here I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not but the orange there it just doesn't look good so I'm gonna replace that so let's we'll start by one I'll clean out all this luckily when I put these seats in here I only put two bolts in it so I don't got all four bolts of fish out right now but should be pretty easy, pretty simple. Other than the fact, I'm going to have to manhandle this completely out of there on my own. So let's get to it. part about getting that seat out was the fact that the front tabs on those custom frames are kind of had a point on them and they just gra kept grabbing the carpet other than that wasn't too bad now I just need to remove all this trim as long as they're not stripped out and then remove the seat belt so that I can get this old carpet up the vinyl dial worked pretty good on the S10 on the seats well this dash mat cover why not try it on that the only thing I noticed is that uh they have used some adhesive either that or uh you can see all this left right right here over time from the Sun beating down on it it just melted to it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some adhesive back on it and just roll with it because it looks pretty bad under there. Ew. Definitely have to have something to cover that back up, so this itself other than being faded and stained is not too bad so I'll work with it so later I'll probably knock that down spray some adhesive and roll with it now since this won't be a high dollar build like the ADC 10 it's gonna be more budget friendly like the S10 I'm gonna use these I've already cleaned them off Use this vinyl die I had left over from the S10 and just try to make it as look good as I can 
as cheap as I can. Now I'm just going to let that dry, come back for at least one more coat, maybe two, see how it looks. But now I'm going to go ahead and finish ripping out that carpet. Now believe it or not, Look at that, the original paint still under the carpet. Transmission tunnel. Driver's side, although there is a little rust from that bolt right there. There's a little paint flaking. But you know what? Just a little bit right there. So really, that right there, just a quick spray after you sand it off a little bit. You can see right here, a little bit there but it's pretty damn solid there's no pinholes so we'll sand that down spray it real quick and then install the carpet all right here it is it does have the panel for the feet i think it's 801 number on the color get this little seam here for the edges so it's going to sit this in there see how it fits because every time i've done one of these you usually have to trim some excess off Let's see how it fits. Now I'm aware that some people will actually put some kind of adhesive down and glue the carpet down to the floor, but I don't do that. And usually what I do is I let the seat, the trim, console if there is one actually secure and hold the carpet in place now if i got a place like up front under the dash there i might put one or two self tappers somewhere with the washer head on it that way it doesn't pull out through the carpet but the reason i do that is because just in case the carpet needs to be removed in the future you're not fighting that glue or adhesive so you can just easily pull the carpet take care of whatever issue may be whether the carpet got wet there's a rust spot forming you want to run some more wiring for more stereo equipment under the carpet etc so that way it gives me access to future changes but you know it's in there it actually fits pretty good I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything back in is installed and the carpet's laid down now i need to cut the holes for the belts and the seats and unfortunately it started raining so i'm gonna have to do this real quick now in case you didn't notice it's been a wardrobe change hair's all wet it just started pouring down rain out of nowhere so real quick 
I had to I mean, cut the carpet for the bolt holes, which I've already done, put the seat belts on. Now I gotta try to get that seat in there before it picks up and starts raining real bad again. Luckily, since y'all saw me set that off to the side, I covered the seat. Now there it is. Seat is reinstalled. Brand new carpet down. This is dyed black. Looks 100% better in my opinion. Um, unfortunately, there's some creases in the dash mat. It's because I had the glue setting on the back side of this dash mat. Started to rain, so I threw it in there real quick. And well, that happens, I guess. Now I had a short little window after a quick that burst of rain quit you can see the rain starting again but had a little short burst I was able to throw that in there get it bolted down you can see it looks a lot better and uh, looks like uh, it's about to rain again so I'm gonna call it a day here now hopefully you enjoyed this episode as always thanks for watching